Well, one of the pressing questions that was asked during the pandemic was what the long-term effects of COVID-19 would be on the body, if anything. A new study tonight is beginning to answer that. Jordan Smith joins us now with the story. Uh, Derek, this new study focused on the COVID long haulers, those people who battled symptoms for weeks after the virus was out of their system. We've heard all about the loss of smell or taste or lung issues, but this is something different. If you were one of the millions who was a long hauler COVID patient, the virus might have left a scar on more than just your immune system. A new study from Columbia University, Cornell Medicine and Sloan Kettering Cancer Center found evidence of the SARS-CoV-2 virus attacking your dopamine receptors. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that's involved with uh, our energy, our sense of pleasure, and the absence of it results in sort of the opposite. Meaning feelings of anxiety or depression after a COVID infection could be the direct result of COVID attacking your nervous system. But how does it impact your dopamine exactly? Scientists call it senescence, which means the virus is rapidly aging your cells. The looming concern for medical experts is the long-term damage of this part of the brain. So people with Parkinson's disease have had a loss of the cells in the uh, lower brain, the brain stem, that produce dopamine. And when they have that, they have a, a, the rigidity and the tremor and so forth. But there's still testing to be done yet, and it will likely be five to ten years down the road before a correlation can be proven between long COVID and Parkinson's. In the meantime, dopamine is a critical part of the human experience, and there are medications that can help restore that balance. If, if you're, you're not experiencing joy with things that you used to experience, your neurological system is, is not functioning ideally, and it's not something you should ignore. And this is a new study, and it is predominantly focusing on long-term COVID infections. So if you were asymptomatic or had mild symptoms, there's no evidence at this point to suggest that you're at risk. In studio, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now.